search for a missing kayaker, now a recovery mission. I feel so sad for those guys, young men. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources joined Task Force One and Hamilton firefighters on the Great Miami today. They used sonar equipment and brought in a cadaver dog, hoping to locate the body of 29-year-old Benjamin Gibson. They did a side scan of river left and river right, all the way from the dam all the way up to the incident site to see if he might have surfaced overnight. That search was negative. Search crews say Gibson and his friend, 35-year-old Wilbur Strobel, put borrowed kayaks in the river yesterday afternoon, just north of the High Street Bridge. And the two gentlemen were paddling downstream, and when they approached the high main bridge, one of them capsized. So the other one went over to help him, and at that time, he capsized also. They were not wearing life jackets. Witnesses heard Strobel's screams as he clung to the kayak, unable to get to his friend. We were trying our best to just reassure him, we kept screaming to him, you know, helps on the way, helps on the way. A person on a jet ski helped rescue Strobel, but Gibson went under and has not been located. Today, members of his family walked the banks looking for his body. Onlookers watched the river rescue team at work. Some expressed concern over the number of people they see in the river without life jackets. Maybe they just didn't know. You know, they just thought it was going to be a great exercise, but you should have some sort of life preserver. On. And river rescue crews say one misconception people have is they see the water, it looks kind of calm and they think it's safe, but really the middle channel, that's where there's a swift undertow. Reporting live in Hamilton tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thank you. Firefighters say the man who was rescued was not hurt.